So today's video is going to be uh, an eye opener for a lot of us. And I say us because not only am I going to talk about the biggest mistakes that I saw in the music business last year, is I'm going to talk about the mistakes that I made, the mistakes that I made in dealing with clients, some of the mistakes I made in my business. It's funny, you can insert biggest blank business mistakes last year in a lot of different businesses could type that in there. What I need you to do is go right below this video real quick while I got your attention and hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. I have something I want to share with you. So at the taping of this video, it's 2020, middle of the month of January, and I came back from holiday and started opening gifts. And my name is Rick Barker, by the way, for those of us that haven't met. I'm host of the Music Industry Blueprint podcast, former manager of Taylor Swift, and this was created for me from the only picture actually that exists that I have access to of Taylor and I. I think there's a few others, but they went ahead and they created this. My wife said I look like Andrew Dice Clay. For those of you that don't know who Andrew Dice Clay is, go look it up. But uh, yeah, so I want to say thank you to Terry Davis, one of my clients who had someone do this for me. I appreciate that. So that's a little bit about me, but here's what I want to talk about today. So I have the pleasure of personally managing over 150 artists in 18 different countries and over 16 different genres of music. And one of the things that I found out when I'm dealing with these artists, when I started looking back at myself, is that, you know, we're all great starters, but terrible finishers. Guilty as charged. I have multiple programs in the tens of thousands of dollars that I purchased this year so that I could provide support to me and the office crew. And we would all sit down and we would put this plan together and we would be so excited about it and everyone would have their marching orders and about three weeks later, nothing. Think about what you might have done this year in your own business. I had people come in so excited to work with me, so excited because I was the missing ingredient that they'd say, and they never show up to management session calls. They never email their questions. So this year, I think if we start less things, we'll be able to finish more things. Does that make sense? I think I bit off way more than I could chew. I come out of a you know, click funnels conference and I'm ready to take on the world and I'm buying every course and everything. And it's just like, I just need to slow down and focus on a couple of things this year. That's kind of why we're here at my office this year. Got rid of the office uh, downtown. This is where I'm focused. So that's what my goal is going to be this year is less will get me more. Does that make sense? If I focus on less things, I think I can get more results by having less things. I hope that made sense. Uh, the number two thing that I found last year was complacency. We got comfortable. Once again, guilty as charged. Every single one of these things that I share with you, I'm as guilty as everyone else. We just kind of felt that we were doing enough. We just kind of felt that, eh, I'm good. No, 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 no. When that happens, we're getting our butts outworked by someone else. I realized this year, as I hired, I paid and hired who most folks would consider my competition because she's kicking all of our butts. I'm talking about Leah McHenry from Savvy Musician. She is killing it in the digital marketing space with Facebook ads and Instagram ads. I'm blessed to be friends with Leah and her husband, Steve. I hired them to teach me what it is that she's doing. Think about that for a second. I went and hired my competition, you know me, I don't like the word competition, it's all about collaboration, but I went and hired my competition to teach me to do what they do, okay? I paid more for eight hours of time than many of you have paid working with me over the last three years. Let's go ahead and think about that for a second. One, because I'm not afraid to go invest in myself. I was tired. I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna figure this out on myself. I got enough going on and I'm just watching stuff go. Think about that right now. What artists are you seeing out there that are doing more than you, that are outworking you? The reason is they're not complacent. So I had to go to the badass in my space and say, what is it that you're doing that you can teach me in order to do it? I also got complacent, no moss. 
What's my Spanish? Do you like that? No más. Number three, overwhelm. I took on way too much. I had a Facebook ads course I was involved with at the time. I have the YouTube course that I, I got coaching from Sunny. So I had coaching from Billie Jean, which is brilliant. Never really used it. We took on way too much there. Then all of a sudden, I got really going in Instagram, digging on that. And then I'm like, oh crap, I'm gonna go ahead and take on YouTube right now. So I went ahead and took on YouTube. Then I went ahead and launched multiple courses, had multiple webinars, hired multiple coaches. Was It was just so much going on. I got overwhelmed, I got tired. And at the time, excuse me, a little nose itch. At the time, I'm also trying to focus on the weight loss journey that I had started. Oh my gosh, it was just like way too much. It's like I found myself frustrated because I couldn't get enough accomplished in the weeks that I wanted to get accomplished because I also added on an additional management call with my clients every week. See, in 2019, at the beginning of the year, I was doing one a month. Then I went to one a week and it just kind of got to me. And then I'm sitting there talking to my clients and I'm talking to one poor lady. She bought my course. She bought Chris Greenwood's course. She bought Graham Cochran's course. She bought all these different courses and she was just way overwhelmed. And I'm like, look, here's the thing. First off and foremost, you're not ready for me. Let me give you back the money you invested with me. And my bit of advice for you, no more courses. Her name was Betty. I'm not going to say her last name out of courtesy, but she's 71 years old and she's buying all these courses. And I'm like, Betty, stop. I can't help you. You know, it's like you come on because we don't know when we do webinars and when you guys have people that are listening to you, you don't get to know everyone, but I do one-on-one -on -one bring it on as I'm talking to her and I'm doing this onboarding call. I'm like, okay, where are you getting your money? I asked her that. Where are you getting your money? She goes, oh, I'm going through my retirement. And I'm like, stop it. Don't buy my, my course. No, here, let me give you your money back. Weird, right? I said, here, let me give you my money back. These are the two people you need to keep investing with and no more. Stop it already. Let's stop this year. Let's just focus on something small. Let's start getting those little victories. Let's not sit there and go, crap. In six months and I'm still no further along than I was. Baby victories, baby victories, baby victories. Go look at Pat Flynn stuff and Michael Hyatt stuff on goal setting and getting all this stuff done. It will be great for you. The other thing that I saw a lot of, now this wasn't me, okay? This one I can finally check myself off the list because I learned this lesson a long time ago. I saw many of my clients trying to figure stuff out on their own. Trying to figure out how to run Facebook ads, trying to figure out how to build websites, trying to figure out how to record, trying to figure out all this stuff. Focus on what you're good at. Hire out what you're not good at. You are a business. You need to make investments in your business and part of those investments are getting knowledge, experience, coaching, management, mentorship, virtual assistance, whatever the case may be. Stop trying to figure it out on your own. I am not going to go learn how to play music and play guitar. I have two guitars hanging on my wall. I'm not going to sit there and go, it would take me way too long. I'll hire a guitar player. I don't need to, I don't need to be the one playing the guitar. I'll hire a guitar player. I don't need to be the one building out my websites right now. Why do you think when I brought Hannah on board, the first thing I had her do was go through the one funnel away challenge with ClickFunnels. Why? Because my business is inside ClickFunnels. I got tired of trying to figure this stuff out on my own. I realized the value of my time. So don't try to figure everything out on your own. Down below in the comments, I want you to tell me what you're guilty of. Okay, I want but the first part of recovery, as most of you know, if you know my story and sobriety, is admitting that I have a problem. Go down below, put your, make yourself accountable. Go down and tell us what's the one thing that you did last year that you think slowed you up the most that you're going to focus on fixing this year. Let's get out of denial. All right. And the fifth biggest uh, music business mistake that I saw last year is that, and and like I shared this a little bit earlier. This is the one I'm most guilty of. You didn't use the tools that you had right in front of you. You made a financial investment. Many people, I'm talking about my clients, made financial investments to work with me. They have the ability to show up and get answers to their questions, their personal questions, 
every single week with me. They have a Facebook community of people that could help answer their questions and they didn't show up. Matter of fact, a lot of them didn't even open the emails that I sent to them. Some spent upwards of a couple thousand dollars to be with me this year. Didn't even open the emails. I spent tens of thousands of dollars on three courses that I did not utilize properly. Guilty as charged. The reason for that is because I kept getting my focus brought back into serving my clients. So what I did this year to fix that for me is I needed to get some time back for me. As I started offering more time to my clients, it was giving less time for me, less time for the family. I like to golf. I like to be outside. I like to work out. There's a lot that I like to do, but I felt that I didn't have enough time in order to do it. So I said, okay, where can I get some time back? It was that commute back and forth from here to Music Row. It's about 12 hours, 14 hours, depending on the traffic. And I'm like, okay, where can I get back into my tools? Where can I get back into, because the tools that I have, not only will they change things for me and my business, uh, they make me a better person. And by me being a better person, that means I'm a better person to the people that I serve. Does that make sense? If you're always frustrated, the people around you are the ones who are getting the crap because of it. So it's like, if I want to be better, I need to take care of me. I need to better serve me. And part of that for me this year is utilizing the tools that I have right in front of me that I've already made a financial investment in. Now, if any of this rings true to you, if any of this I would love for you to share it with us. I really would. I would love for you to also go below this video, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified. Uh, every week we're going to put these out. If you have topics that you would like me to cover, if you have things that you feel you're not seeing enough of, if you feel having me as part of your team could make a difference for you this year, just go to rickbarker.com. There's a management survey. Uh, an assessment survey, whatever you want to call it, that's there for you. You're also going to be able to hear, uh, subscribe to my podcast, hit me up on socials. This year, you don't have to be alone, okay? Let's figure this stuff out. Great starters, terrible finishers, let's fix that. Complacency, uh-uh. Overwhelm, let's get rid of that. Tried to figure stuff out on our own. No, there's experts out there. Go find the experts and didn't use the tools, by golly. Let's use the tools. By golly, is that like so Southern or so Andy Griffith or what? All right, I'm out of here. I will see you on the next video. Hit me up on socials. Go down below. Tell me the things that uh, you're guilty of. Tell me the things that you want me to cover and we'll chat soon.